you'll have noise in the background. Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, richarddwyer.co, a free site. Today is May the 8th, 2021. Let's talk cryptocurrency, but understand, this video is solely being offered for entertainment purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. I encourage everyone to consult with their own financial professionals before making any financial decisions. Right? Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let's talk about how crypto is changing our lives for a moment. I'm going to hold up a Starbucks cup. You can now use crypto at Starbucks through the Bact app. Bact is spelled B-A-K-K-T. Again, B-A-K-K-T. For more information, just Google Starbucks Bact and Food and Wine. It'll pop up the Food and Wine uh, website where they discuss how to instantly convert your Bitcoin into a means of payment at Starbucks. Let's also just quickly visit a, an earlier video where I talked about one way of playing the electric vehicle market was through copper, right? Copper has been on fire. One copper stock that I love that's uh, been good to me is Freeport McMoran. The symbol is FCX. Again, FCX. What I want people to do here independently is to look at the recent price increase in copper. Look at the recent price increase in FCX, Freeport McMoran. And also just look at how electric vehicles use a lot more copper than combustion engine vehicles, right? Just understand. You don't even have to know which EV company is going to gain market share. You just have to know that the technology uses more copper than has been used in the past in a typical vehicle to be able to make money. Right? Let me also say here that as bullish as I am on Bitcoin, and understand Pantera Capital's Dan Moorhead is predicting that Bitcoin is going to hit the six-figure numbers in August, right? Just a few months from now, based on various models. As bullish as I am on Bitcoin, as well as some other cryptos, uh, just understand that I'm also bullish on gold and silver, right? What I want people to do is to look up Eric Sprott. He's a Canadian billionaire very successful in the space. Um, he has a website online where you can easily buy gold. And um, it's on par with Volturo.com, with GoldMoney.com. Uh, he has his own uh, website. I believe it's called OneGold.com. Double check me on that. Um, I encourage people to look at that site, it'll enable you to buy silver and gold at close to spot price, right? Because it's a, an allocation system where you buy the precious metal, they store it for you. They're just designating the, spe the metal to you, right? Just understand that uh, Eric Sprott is one of the most trusted names in the industry, has been around a long time is one of the premier, one of the dominant precious metals investors on the globe. He has credibility, a reputation built up over a lifetime. And uh, the idea that he is allowing the purchase of, uh, helping facilitate the purchase of gold and silver online is a great value to precious metals investors. Let me also add to, in the EV space, and I'm going to name a couple of cryptocurrencies, I want people to pay very close attention to the growth of EVs 
electric vehicles in China, right? Understand too that China and India have far more people, and I mean far more people than the United States. Understand too that China right now has embraced some technologies far faster and far more extensively than the United States. So, for example, in the United States, we're excited by 5G. People are walking around and they're saying, my God, I can download things on my phone so much faster than I could with 4G technology. Well, in China right now, they're actually on to 6G. They're already testing out the latest technology on a level that the United States simply is not. Understand, too, we're talking about having a digital currency here in the United States. In China, the WeChat format has been around for years. Understand, the People's Bank of China is much further along in terms of the development of a digital currency than we are here in the United States. What I want people to also do is to look at India, which soon will be the most populated country in the world. It's already the biggest democracy in the world. I just want people to fully grasp the upside that exists in India right now, right? You have a lot of companies, Facebook, Amazon, Walmart, investing heavily in India, right? India has so much upside that it's a market you need to pay very close attention to, right? So as you think about technologies like electric vehicles, like cryptocurrency, right? Uh, like the internet and 5G and how your life has been changed by home delivery of Amazon products as well as food services. Just think about the possibility of all of those technologies maturing in India. The upside is huge. Let's talk about huge upside in the crypto world. Um, two of the coins that I've invested in recently that I believe have spectacular upside are Solana, S-O-L-A-N-A. -A. You can find out more about the coin at Solana.com, right? It is a system similar to Ethereum, only in some ways it's superior to Ethereum. What I want people to do is to think about the possibility that Ethereum isn't as robust as Bitcoin. I know this is not what the market is telling all of us. Let me also admit that I own some Ethereum, right? One of my mottos is, um, you know, don't be right, make money. In other words, whatever my philosophical leanings Right. If I see something that's highly profitable, even if I think it's not sustainable, I'm going to try to get a part of those profits. That's where I am with Ethereum. Right. I've owned Ethereum for years. But I need for you to consider the idea that platforms like Ethereum, right, Ethereum 2.0 even, are blockchains that ultimately are going to be viewed like we view airlines. In other words, you're just interested in using the blockchain to get from here to there. Right? It's like railroads. And so maybe you have a Jones for Delta. But if United is cheaper and can get you to your vacation spot just as fast, Right? Well, maybe you take the United flight instead of the Delta flight. Well, that's how it is with all of these blockchains. I believe what's going to rule in the future is going to be interoperability. Right? You're not going to care what blockchain you use. 
as long as you get to the destination where you want to go. Now, Ethereum's gas prices are a big problem. The bottom line is Ethereum was rushed to the market, right? When you're using a blockchain, again, it's like using an airline. Down the road, I believe you'll be able to get to where you want to go. If you use Ethereum, and I'm talking about smart contract, uh, smart contract blockchain systems, right? Whether you use Ethereum, whether you use Cardano, whether you use uh, Polkadot, whether you use Kusama, right? You're going to get to where you want to go. You're going to start shopping based on price and speed, right? The DAP creators are going to want presences on more than one blockchain. So, I understand people like Mark Cuban are very bullish on Ethereum. I understand Ethereum right now um, has a huge first mover advantage in the DeFi world, right? I think that's going to dissipate, just like I think Tesla's first mover advantage in the EV world is going to dissipate. I think over time that's going to dissipate. I believe right now if you look at Binance Smart Chain, and the number of transactions being done on PancakeSwap, you're going to realize that Ethereum already has serious competition. I do hope you're buying the BNB coin, the Binance coin, right? That's your way to own a part of that private company and understand that coin burns coins. So you not only have a limited supply, you have a decreasing supply. Well, Solano is a smart contract blockchain. It's already in the top 20 in terms of market cap. It's faster than Ethereum. It's cheaper than Ethereum. It's attracting venture capital and it handles more transactions per second capacity wise than Ethereum. You can find out more about that coin at Solana.com. Right? I believe that it's a major player it just got a huge investment from a group of hedge funds. It's already number 18 in market cap. It's worth a look. Next, smart contracts really are the future, right? Don't get me wrong. I believe the king is the non-smart contract Bitcoin, right? Which is a store of value. Understand, the world has a need for pristine collateral. Understand, there's are a whole group of people who just want to store wealth someplace. Ethereum and all of these others will never match the durability, the robustness of Bitcoin. But in the world of smart contracts, you have a lot of developers out there who have their favorite language that they like to program in. Right? Well, understand the Crypto Cartesi, C-A-R-T-E-S-I, and you can find out more about this at Cartesi.io, allows for the coding of smart contracts in languages like Linux, Python, and several other languages. This is a game changer. This is going to allow someone who is great in Python programming to be involved in the coding of smart contracts on the blockchain. This is just going to blow the doors wide open. Understand Cartesi is already in the top 200 in market cap in the crypto world, right? I believe you want to give this crypto a look. Let me also say this too. Over the last 24 hours, this crypto is so undervalued that the volume, the trading volume of the crypto over the last 24 hours exceeds its market value. When you see that and it looks organic, in other words, it doesn't look like some group is pumping up the crypto but rather the demand for this crypto is so robust that you're getting volume that exceeds its market cap. 
then you know, in my opinion, that you have a winner. Right? I've invested in Solana. I've invested in Cartesi. I'm just telling you what interests me, what I want you to do. Just view it as telling you what I'm doing for entertainment purposes. What I want you to do is your own investigation. These are two crypto plays that I like. Let me hear from you. If you've had experiences, good or bad, with Solana or with Cartesi, and you want to share those with the public, or if you've bought coffee at Starbucks using the backed app, or if you're a copper investor, um, I hope you leave that information in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.